Sepsis is the result of a severe infection, and any severe infection can be deadly. So yes, it's something to be concerned about, but there are opportunities to prevent in the infections that lead to sepsis, and we are developing more and more ways to identify sepsis patients early and provide them with the treatment that can save their lives. There is no single diagnostic test that can determine if a patient has sepsis. In fact, it's often confused with other medical conditions early on, and sepsis tends to develop very quickly. Patients with sepsis tend to have one or more of the following. Fever, shivering, or feeling very cold, disorientation or confusion, low blood pressure, rapid heart rate, or rapid breathing. Sepsis can happen very quickly. Low blood pressure and organ failure can be treated, but it has to be done rapidly. Antibiotics have to be started immediately, blood pressure has to be supported, and the source of the infection has to be located and treated. Patients with sepsis can have a rapidly changing condition. You need to follow the patient very closely, determine whether the antibiotics being given are the correct ones and the correct dose and for the correct duration, and follow the patient frequently, especially in the early hours. The most common conditions that lead to sepsis are lung infections, abdominal infections, urinary tract infections, and skin infections. The most common bacteria that cause sepsis are E. coli, staph, and strep.